Hello Pokemon fans, I'm Kevin Ripa and this is my Sans 3 Minutes Max. Today we're talking about Endian. You may have heard this in your travels. Endian, Little Endian and Big Endian and wondered what they meant. Well basically they mean the reversal of hexadecimal characters in the representation of data. What? That kind of makes no sense. Well, uh, it can make sense. So let's have a look at what I mean by this. Now, Endian this speaks to which end of a piece of data the computer will calculate first. For example, in the byte representation here, we see that the most significant bit, or the biggest bit value, is on the left, and the least significant bit, or smallest bit value, is on the right. At the byte level, this does not change. But the left end is would be considered because it's the biggest big Endian. And obviously the right end being the smallest is called little Endian. But when we start getting into the hex level, it does make a difference. So shown here, we have hex 01D5. It's represented in the left to right order, and so it's called Big Endian, because the biggest number is on the left. If we flip the hex values, we now have D501. This is little Endian, because we've moved the most significant number to the right, and the least significant hex number to the left. So why would we do that? Well, simply to make computer calculations more efficient. Why calculate all the zeros on the left, as you see here, first? If we flip Endian this, we can ignore them all, and never have to calculate past the one. Confused yet? Well, let's make it a little bit simpler by relating this to decimal. In decimal 105, we know that the hundreds position on the left is the most significant or biggest number, big Endian. The five is in the ones position, so is least significant, little Endian. In fact, when we estimate, we would say approximately 100. We care most about the biggest number. This is the big Endian. But now if you think about it, we use little Endian in decimal when we do math. Huh? Yeah, when we add, we work with the least significant digits first. We start, start our adding in the ones column, then do any carrying and add to the tens column, and on and on. So as you can see, we use this in our math every day. So remember, if the hex characters are being represented with the biggest order on the left, biggest byte order or bit order on the left, that's big Endian. If they start with the least significant bit, that is little Endian. So then where did all this Endianness come from? Well, remember Gulliver's Travels, written by Jonathan Swift? Well, in Lilliput, the Lilliputians were fighting over an egg, hard-boiled egg. Do I open the little end first or do I open the big end first? A war was waged over this little end. Big end, the Endianness. Which end to open the egg from first? Don't believe me? Go look it up, because you can't make this stuff up. So, in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.